Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a makeup tutorial. So we are going to be using the LA Girl Reverie eyeshadow palette. I'm probably saying that wrong. Reverie, R-E-V-E-R-I-E. -E. So have y'all seen this thing? First of all, the packaging is absolutely stunning. So it's like pink and it has, hold on a little bit. It's pink and it has like this glitter stuff right here and it says LA Girl right there, like super pretty. Um, the inside does kind of look a little Beauty Max-ish. <laughs> like this definitely reminds me of like the first eyeshadows you get whenever you're like, you know, just starting into makeup and you go to Beauty Max and get like the full kit, you know, for like 10 bucks. This is what this reminds me of. Um, but I'm excited to see how, how whoa, but I am excited to see how pigmented these eyeshadows are. We are going to be doing a look with them. I am going to be doing a voiceover and just like, you know, talk over me doing makeup because if not, we'll be sitting here for like three hours and I know y'all got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. Um, however, stay till the end of the video because I will be announcing a giveaway. We're not announcing a giveaway. Oh my God, I cannot talk. It's been a long time. Like we went through Thanksgiving and stuff and oh, we just I haven't filmed in a while but anyways I will be doing a giveaway towards the end of the video so stay tuned okay so here I am in deep thought because I'm trying to figure out what look I should do I was really like gearing towards the blue eyeshadows in this palette but then I realized I was wearing like a reddish top so I thought that would be like overkill so I decided to go with something that kind of matched my top so I'm first going in with that orange shade and let me just say these eyeshadows are pretty pigmented like I wasn't expecting a lot just because I mean LA Girl is more of like a cheaper brand and I don't think I've ever used any eyeshadows that have blown me away like these have but this is a pretty good palette I feel like so I'm first taking that orange shade and just applying in the crease and this is going to be like the shade that we keep going back to to make sure all of our eyeshadows are nice and blended. Now we're going to go in with that cranberry shade and I'm taking a smaller brush because I kind of want this to be a little bit more detailed and I'm just going in the outer V and also in the crease but I'm not going to take it as high up as the orange shade that way we don't have like red eyeshadow all the way up to our brows so it should be like a gradient effect between the orange and the red. And just going back in with that orange shade and just blending it. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with the red and with the orange. Just making sure this thing is nice and blended and you know, it looks good. <laughs> Now going in with the black. I didn't want too much black because I didn't want this look to be super dark and plus I was going to use wing liner anyway. So I just went in like literally right on the side of my eye with that black and then took that red color and blended it out so that it kind of looks more of like a deeper red than just straight up black. You know, just trying something different. <laughs> Now y'all already know the drill. I'm taking some concealer and just cutting my crease. This is like a step I have to do. So I'm just gonna cut the crease, just making it look nice and sharp, but I'm not gonna go over like the very outer portion of my eye. So just like go halfway, if that makes sense. I know you can see it. <laughs> and then I'm just taking that shimmery cranberry shade, kind of matches the red that we already have up there, but it's just shimmery. And I'm just putting this on like the half of my eye and it was pigmented I was like okay girl so I just put that right there and then in the inner part we'll go in with the gold shade and then just blending all those colors together
All right, so you can see that big wing liner that I added. And now we're going in with primer. So I'm just taking whatever I can get out of this Maybelline primer. I really need to get a new one. It's like a hydrating primer. And with it being like winter time, my skin is so dry, y'all. I have to like prep because I swear my skin is like really flaky right now. It's just not cute. And I'm actually going to be using the L'Oreal True Match. I like the Sonation because it's definitely more on the like normal side like normal skin side like it definitely is dewy but then it's not too dewy so i don't know i just really like the way that this looks on my skin with it being colder and my skin being so dry this has kind of been like a go-to foundation lately it just looks really really good right now so i'm just putting it on my face and the color looks good i think this is in the shade w8 i'll have all of the products listed down below Now just taking the Too Forced Born This Way, Too Forced? Wow, Too Faced <laughs> Born This Way concealer. And this is the full coverage one. I'm not sure the shade, but again, it'll be listed down below. So I'm just using this to go up under my eyes. And then I will take the ColourPop concealer, which is a little bit closer to my skin tone. It's not as bright as that one. And just apply that on like my nose, chin, my mouth, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> And I actually like to just sit and wait before I blend. Like I never blend my concealer out as soon as I apply it. I just feel like if you wait, it makes the concealer not move as much. So it doesn't disturb your foundation. It's like full coverage. So um, I'm just waiting, you know, go on my phone. Oh, and I want to show you guys these nails. Like, don't they look like they're acrylic or gel or whatever? They're freaking press-ons. $6 at Target. Or not Target, Claire's. I'm sorry. Um, press ons are like my new thing <laughs> but anyways I'm just blending this out like see how much more seamless it is if I would have just went straight in and blended it out it would have been slipping and sliding and it wouldn't have looked good so I'm just blending this all out and then I will go ahead and contour using the same thing I always use the makeup revolution foundation stick I did feel like I applied a little too much girl we fixed it later but it was kind of like railroad tracks on my face for a second <laughs> Then I'm setting my face using the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder. That's a long way. That powder is very expensive. However, I really, really like it. And it just makes my face look super, super airbrushed and like no texture. And so yeah, we gotta make these funny faces in order to set up under our eyes. Now going back up under the eyes, I'm just starting off with that black and I'm not taking the black all the way up under my eyes because I feel like it would be too dark. So I'm just keeping the black on the outer portion and then taking that red cranberry shade all up under my eye. Okay, and just really take your time and smoke that out. I like mine pretty low, but feel free to stop where you guys want. Here, I'm just applying some blush. Um, this is a NYX Ombre blush. It's been out for a while, but it's like my favorite right now. Kind of like a coral color, but then I put like my bronzer over it. So then it just looks like um, good, I guess. <laughs> and then for my inner tear duct, I'm just gonna brighten that up using the Jouer Citrine highlighter. I like this highlighter a lot. I actually found it in my makeup collection, but I don't like it for my face. I just feel like it's a little bit too icy and stuff for like my face but I'll use it like on my eyes so for my face I'm just going back into the Omrezy and ABH highlighter and I am applying this like on my cheeks and my nose and making it just look like a glazed donut basically For the lip, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm just using the NYX Club Hopper Liquid, not liquid liner. What is this? Oh, lip 
liner yeah lip liner and I'm just lining my lips completely and I didn't fill in like the middle portions of it but the outer portions I made sure to go over pretty heavy and then for liquid lipstick I'm using the Huda Beauty trendsetter this is like the mini set I got it for Christmas like a while ago but it's such a good like orangey kind of brown nude color and I feel like it matched really well and then just for some added gloss this is the Huda Beauty lip strobe and angelic All right, guys so that is the finished look i really like the way this look turned out it's very different from like my golds and my browns and my pink lip that i always do i feel very very fall-ish right now so i definitely feel like this palette is bomb for you to get this many shades let me see how many shades are in here you get four seven times Seven times five, 35 eyeshadows in here for $20. That is not bad and it's really good quality. As you can see, we got this look right here. It blended well, the shadows were pigmented in my opinion. I think it's bomb, like uh, I'm here for it. I was definitely a little skeptical just cause I feel like the way the inside looks, it just reminds me of like Barbie doll makeup, you know, I don't know, but it's a really good palette. So on to the giveaway, so I am giving you guys full. Well, not everybody, but one person will win this palette. Um, mine that I just used is right here. And this is y'all's, just so you know that it will be unused. This is y'all's. I am doing this giveaway because we did reach 4,000 subscribers. We actually hit 4,000 subscribers on Thanksgiving. How cool is that? Um, but, you know, I was kind of like in a food coma. So um, that's why I didn't post any videos or anything. But we did hit 4K, so I'm excited about that and I want to give away a palette. You must be subscribed to my YouTube channel, duh. Um, follow me on Instagram at diamondbeauty underscore and leave a comment. You can say anything. You can say, I don't know, tell me how your Thanksgiving was. Tell me what your New Year's resolution is going to be. Ugh, tell me you like my hair, girl. Tell me what you're doing with your hair. I don't know anything really just comment down below you can comment like your instagram and you can comment your email too like if you want to you know let me know uh how to reach you i guess uh, yeah so uh, all the rules and things will be listed down below in the description bar oh if you guys are interested in the sweater this is from my boutique shopdadboutique.com um so yeah i guess that's the end of the video so i will be picking the winner on sunday and I'll probably post it on Monday because I like to make sure that they reach back out to me and I know their address and stuff before I announce the winner. Because a lot of times I'll reach out to people and then I don't hear from them. So then I got to pick another winner. So I will post it somewhere in this video who the winner is. And I'll also contact you as well. So again, you must be a subscriber. You must be a follower and comment down below something cool. Um, so yeah, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.